direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access. It's Foxborough Central, and here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another fantastic episode of Foxborough Central. You heard the man, I am Bob Hickey. I am your host, and I'm so glad that you took a little bit of time to join me and my guests as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough truly the gem of Norfolk County. And we here in Foxborough, we take great pride in our public schools, particularly our high school. Uh, we know that we are a gym because of our music program. We know that we're a gym because of all of the sports, athletics, and academics. We have great teachers, superior leadership, and a pretty cool football team, don't we? Yes, and I'm joined today by three members of that pretty cool football team. I am joined on my left by a captain, correct? Yep. Do I call you Captain Farmer or do I say? Uh, no, just Pat. Captain Pat. Nice to meet you. And of course, Tyler Silveria, you are the uh, ringleader of this uh, little episode here today, are we not? I am. All right, excellent. And Mr. Perilla, how are you doing over there? I'm doing fantastic. Or do I get to call you Alex? You can call me whatever you want. I'll call you Alex. Uh, and I will also call you to attention because why are we talking to the football team? One, I like sports, I like athletics, and I like to see our kids getting over. Because I remember them back when they were like this big, now they're well, obviously bigger than I am, so, and they have more hair, which is blonde. You're not going to go swimming in any Brazilian water polo pools, are you? Definitely not. not. So it's going to stay uh, blonde, which the is good. The blonde is going to stay fresh. The blonde is good, stay fresh. No green, no green here. So why are we here? Obviously, there's a reason, and the reason is because there's a fundraiser. The Foxborough High School uh, Warrior Booster Club, the football boosters, they are called the Touchdown Club, by the way. They are holding a fundraiser, and I'm going to hold this up, and then we're going to go talk to the guys uh, if you uh, have ever had one of these, I don't know what this is. I did buy one. I don't know what it is. So we're going to find out because, frankly, I need to find out what I bought also. Why did I buy this? Tyler, what is this? Well, this right here is a Foxborough Warriors football gold card. On the back of your gold card, yeah. you'll find a wide variety of discounts. I think there's about 12 discounts on the back of this card. Then there's four uh, key tags with more discounts. Okay. And then on the front, if you enter this code online in any of these various stores, big names like Walmart, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, Macy's, very popular, you register this card online, you can save while you're shopping online. Wow. Personally, big fan of my Dunkin' Donuts, buy my large coffee in the morning. You can get a free donut every day with your large coffee. You just flash this card right in the, donut, the uh, Dunkin' Donuts in Foxborough. It's awesome. <laughs> I love this kid. <laughs> Wait. Uh, there's like four Dunkin' Donuts in Foxborough. You can go to there's any one. Dunkin' Donuts in Foxborough. I was going to say, but wait, there's more. <laughs> any Dunkin' Donuts in Foxborough, you flash this card when you buy a large or an extra large beverage, and they'll give you a free donut. Really? Same thing with Dairy Queen. You go in, you get yourself your favorite Blizzard, flash this card, dollar off. Right? And wow. there's a good chance you'll see one of the three of us there. We all work. We all, we work, all there. work at the DQ. <laughs> we sure yeah. do. Well, the Dairy Queen is a great, uh, great local business. They also make a lot of donations to uh, the Doolittle Home and other places. So good to support the community and it's good for us to support them and they're supporting you and they're hiring you, it's all good. What a feel good thing. So this must cost, since this is, and I'm gonna put it up like this because I know the viewers at home will wanna see this. This must cost at least $3,000 because of the value. Is that not right, Alex? Uh, no, these cost, these will cost you $20. That's now impossible, Alex. That, they cost 20, only $20. Do I have um, to find you in the next 10 minutes and be one of the first 200 callers? Nope, you just have to find me anywhere in the town and over the next uh, week or so. Uh, I'll give you one of these cards, you can give me $20 and we'll, we'll go on our way. You can go All start right. using your discounts. Well, if that's what you'll do, what about the other 44 players? Surely they're charging $400. <laughs> nope, everybody's charging 20 bucks. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm gonna have to talk to the captain about this, captain. At $20, and every what single kind, one of them. And is this a good deal for the Boosters Club? Is this, this gonna is make actually, money for the Boosters? This is, is this a great make deal. money for the, for, the, for the team? Yes, we've made a lot of money. We were able to buy a end zone camera last year, which is about uh, $5,000, I think it was. Six is like really? $6,000, yeah. Also, and we, uh, we had enough money to pay for our practice stuff, our new training camp shirts. New uniforms last year, the new blue uniforms. Wow. Yeah, those are yep. funded by those this big, fundraiser. And really? not only is that, it? we make money from this for our football team, but you're making your money back. It's twenty dollars, and you're saving everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You go to Dunkin' Donuts twenty times a year. That's twenty dollars back. That's fantastic. And you can use one of the. You can use your discounts. You can use each one of these discounts once a day, every day for the next year. If I use my discount of Dunkin' Donuts once a day, every day for the next year with a donut, 
I'm going to need two chairs here. You <laughs> probably would. When we come back and do next year's fundraiser. <laughs> you can change it up, though. There's plenty of other places on here. You know, If Dunkin' Donuts doesn't tickle your fancy, Honeydew might. Oh, there you go. All right. You know. Buffalo Wild Wings is a pretty good Buffalo deal. Buffalo Wild Wings is a popular one. Any you know purchase, uh, $25 or more, gets you $5 off if you show them this card. That's great. And I also see Waxies in Splitsville on Waxies there. Waxies is a yes, great Foxborough business. Free Absolutely. appetizer with purchase of two entrees. Really? Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. So now you might be wondering, Bob, where can I get this fantastic deal? And I would talk to Tyler or Alex or Pat, and I would say, hi, where do I get these fantastic deals? Any Foxborough football player. Any of them. You'll see us around with these shirts on or with a jersey on. Or with? Or with a helmet on or blonde hair. The blonde, blonde hair is oh, pretty yes, easy. Because we wear our <laughs> helmets throughout the community, so you can just clearly identify us as so football players. If you see... <laughs> We've got a little astray. We're going to circle back, cycle back here. So uh, we're looking for football players because each football player is part of this fundraiser and you're selling it on behalf of the Boosters Club because money goes right back to the team. Yes. And the reason why we do this is because uh, there's more expenses than what taxpayers in the school budget has and this is a great way to supplement and get cool things that you know really help the program go yeah. along. And, I won't say professional, but it really makes it a lot more fun, doesn't it? Yeah, and you know, the coaches really pride themselves on being able to provide for all the kids that play. You know, it would be a shame. Coach Martinelli himself has said that he has never had to charge for practice shorts or a training camp shirt yeah. like this mm. one. He has never had to charge a kid for one of those, and he doesn't ever want to have to, which is why this is so important. And that, Pat, is why we need to have community support in order to support the football program, yeah. right? It'd be awful if you had each kid paying $100 for all their gear every year. It's great to have stuff like this where everyone in the community who's coming to the games as well and supporting us there can support us with new equipment as well. And it's also important that way everybody has a chance to play. Yes, And participate not based upon their economic ability, but also just on their desire to play. Of course. Yes. Like one of the few towns in the area that doesn't pay uh, make anyone pay their dues. Like, you, uh, you can just join the football team, no... No money required. You're yep. correct. The next town over, it goes, bzzz, they uh, charge uh, user fees. Yeah. Right? Yep, sure do. And we don't. So the only way to keep that going is to spread a little love, open up your wallet a little bit, and make yourself a little bit of a, uh, uh, not only a good feeling, but you can get yourself some pretty nice discounts. Now, what if I'm walking around town and for some reason I don't see a member of the football play team because, oh, I don't know, maybe you're in school? <laughs> Well, you can, um, you can definitely contact me through my Facebook. I'm sure all of you know of the Foxborough discussion page. That's how you found me. That is how I did find you. And, and just to show you uh, what a really cool thing social media is. And, of course, you can find us at Foxborough uh, Central on www.fcatv.org. You can also find our Foxborough Cable Access page. Be our friend on Facebook. We also tweet and things like that. But... Uh, Facebook friends for Foxborough Cable Access. You can also be Facebook friends with the Foxborough Discussion Group, and you post it individually, and that's how I reached out to you, and voila, here we are. Yeah. Amazing how that happens. And then if I don't want to find you on Facebook, and I don't know how to find you before school ends, I can find you where, Alex? Uh, well, Coach AJ Dooley runs a local business, Dooley Disposal. I've heard of that. I'm sure you have. He's Most. a friend of the show. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you could uh, go up there and uh, Coach Dooley will point you in the right direction. And uh, surely he can and their uh, office is on Mechanic Street and hopefully they'll have a few there and if not, they can at least make sure you get in contact with somebody. Absolutely. So, uh, let's talk a little bit football because time is going short, but I am curious, you are a captain this year. Yes, I am. And tell me how the team looks this year. Who's uh, the, who are the coaches again? The coaches, Coach Martinelli, head who? coach. I've never heard of him before. Never heard of no. Jack Martinelli, the most <laughs> no. famous man in town. Most famous. 35 man. years coaching Fox. 250 football. plus wins. 250. I thought I was the most famous man in town. <laughs> well, I'm only 250 wins behind Coach Jack, so uh, <laughs> very good. So, uh, and, and Coach Dooley is helping out also? Coach Dooley is also helping out. He's uh, mainly with the quarterbacks, and we have um, Are Coach you on Buck. defense or offense? Uh, I'm an offensive lineman. Oh, yeah. well, a lineman. Yes, I am. Oh, so you kind of care. <laughs> Are you on defense or offense? Defense. So you don't care about Coach Dooley? <laughs> oh, I don't care. No, you don't. no I love Coach Dooley. <laughs> How about you? You look like a strong defensive man. I actually play both. I play left tackle on the offense, and I'll be moving all over the defensive line. Excellent. So team looking good this year? Looking real good. We've uh, gone to a lot of tournaments. We've gone to 7v7 leagues, and we placed second in Massachusetts and third in New England Excellent. for the 7v7 tournaments. Yeah. All right. Well, sounds like things are looking up and going in the right direction. Are we going to uh, have fun this year? Oh, of course. Because it's all about having fun. fun. Having fun's the goal. It's all about That's fun. That's what it's right? all about. 
I mean the wins, but everybody gets a trophy at the end of the year, right? Oh, wait a second. That no, was, no trophies. That was, that was a six-year-old soccer. I get, yep. my, I get my sports confused. Uh, we're going to go for it all, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So once again, we're here for a serious cause, and that is to help support our local uh, gridiron warriors. And you should help them out by finding a young man wearing blonde hair or one of their parents. You should also go find uh, Coach Dooley, who probably has them down on Mechanic Street. You could also go to practice before they get started hitting each other. They're going to be handing these out like uh, chocolates, but you've got to give them $20. It's only $20. It's a great cause. They raised some money for it. And tell me about this end zone camera. What's the whole point of that? It helps us study our game a whole lot better. I know that last year when we had the end zone camera, we could use it for our game film sessions, and mm -hmm. it it just provided a whole new angle to the yeah, game. Yeah, it just gives us that like a new perspective. It almost it almost looks like you're watching like a game of Madden unfold. Like it's the way it's set up. It's, it's really? very cool. Wow. Mm. It helps very much when you're coming in and you're looking at yourself. You can judge how you're doing, how you're playing, and what you need to fix. Sounds like a great deal. Sounds like we all need to go out and buy some of these. And uh, it's only twenty dollars. Goes for a fantastic cause. Once more, you can check out uh, Tyler Silveria at his. Uh, Facebook page, if you go to the Foxborough Discussion Group, you'll definitely be able to link into him. Uh, I reached out through, what's that thing called? Messenger, I believe. Messenger, yes. I'm the wrong person to talk about technology, obviously. Uh, or you can go to Dually Disposal on Mechanic Street, or you can find one of these fine young men wearing, how long is that gonna last for? A while. All A while. season. <laughs> until the all end of the season. All season. Or at least until we sell out of these. <laughs> all right, Tyler, you get the last word, sir? All right, uh, reach out to me on my Facebook page or reach out to any one of these football players. You'll see us around town. We'll be walking around, standing out in front of local businesses if we're allowed to. And, um, yeah, definitely support the football team. All right, support the team and support your local athletics by going out to a Warriors game. And, of course, we all support Foxborough Cable Access. We're volunteers. They are pretty cool athletes and really thanks to them and uh, showing a lot of leadership for coming in here and sharing their story with you. Uh, let's get out there and help out their fundraiser. It's only $20 for a great cause and you get some pretty good swag back at you. So until I see you on the, well, I'm not going to see you on the gridiron, but until I see you back here on the next episode of Foxborough Central, I am Bob Hickey and I hope you have a wonderful day, Foxborough. Take care. Mm -hmm.